U.S. Marine Corps Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion approved for full-rate production. The Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion Heavy Lift Helicopter has entered full-rate production FRP, and its deployment phase, following a decision review by Frederick J. Stephanie, Acting Assistant Secretary of the U.S. Navy for Research, Development and Acquisition. FRP occurs at the end of low-rate initial production following a review assessing the results of initial operational test and evaluation IO10DE, live fire test and evaluation, production readiness reviews, risk, and affordability analyses. On December 21, the Acquisition Decision Memorandum was signed, authorizing entry of the CH-53K into FRP. We have successfully demonstrated the performance and reliability of this aircraft. With FRP, we will continue to build on the strong manufacturing, sustainment and support that has been established for the CH-53K," said Colonel Kate Flieger, PMA 261 Program Manager. Full-rate production is an important milestone to the H-53 Heavy Lift Program Office PMA 261, as it allows the program to proceed beyond low-rate initial production and begin increasing procurement quantities, thereby gaining production efficiencies and reducing unit costs. The U.S. Marine Corps continues to execute its transition from the CH-53E to the CH-53K and is on schedule to declare full operational capability in FI 2029. The CH-53K King Stallion Test Team, part of the Heavy Lift Program Office, PMA 261, manages the cradle-to-grave procurement, development, support, fielding and disposal of the entire family. It is the largest and heaviest helicopter in the U.S. military. The United States Marine Corps plans to receive 200 helicopters at a total cost of $25 billion. Israel has also reportedly ordered the type. Other potential export customers include Japan and Germany. <laughs>